this is Pete, or Kenshin1913, along with... Mom. And this is another Cooking with Kenshin1913. What are we making today? Today we're going to make a, a chicken pot pie. Okay, here we are with um, our ingredients. So we have about uh, three quarters of a pound to a pound of chopped um, chicken. We have mixed vegetables, potatoes, onion, cream of chicken soup. And then for the topping, we have bisquick and milk. So th the first thing we're going to do is to warm our frying pan because we're going to cook our chicken. Mm -hmm. Now, some people who make this throw everything into the pan and put it in the oven. I like to fry my chicken up. I think it gives it a better flavor. So I um, cook the chicken with the onion. Right, so we've already pre-chopped it, but if you're right, you're and I'll using... show you, I'll show you the size that I usually right. use. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to put our mixed vegetables in a pan and give them a part boil as well. Mm -hmm. um, this way, it cuts down on the uh, cooking time in the oven. Yeah, and you can use canned vegetables too. Yes, you can. Um, I'm using frozen, but you can use the veg all vegetables. And you can use the potatoes that are in a can and just chop those up. But we're using all fresh stuff. Okay, so I've got my vegetables boiling. I'm going to cut my potatoes. And these are red potatoes now for the, this time, winter time. And I'm leaving the skin on because the skin is pretty tender. So I'm just cutting these in little chunks. And I'm going to parboil these as well. Again, this cuts down on the uh, cooking time in the oven. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna be using a, a new setup here. Hopefully you'll like it. Uh, let me know what you think. It's it's a brand new setup. No more shaky hold, hand holding. Hopefully uh, you got a new tripod and uh, everything will be good. So yeah, let me know. Uh, in the yeah, if you see a difference, yeah, in the comments, if you enjoy the different uh, way we're doing this, I'm trying something a little different, so you can actually see more of the cooking. And all that. So the vegetables, that was a pound of right. vegetables, and if you do a can, usually I used to use um, two cans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can use the whole peeled tomato, uh, tomato, the whole peeled uh, vegetables. On uh, or potatoes too. They got canned tomatoes or potatoes. Potatoes, yes, and those are good too. Um, you can use uh, turkey instead of chicken if you choose. Yeah, but then it's not chicken pot pie. It would be pie. turkey pot pie. Right. Okay, so we have our uh, vegetables and our potatoes um, parboiling. You could also do it in the microwave. You can use the uh, steamable vegetable, the steamable vegetables. I guess we're all tongue-tied today. Mm -hmm. Or you know, put your potatoes in a bowl and um, part boil them in right. the microwave as well. So we're getting our pan nice and hot. So as you can see, this is what I did to the chicken ahead of time. I cut it up into small little chunks. Right. So it'll cook quick. Although if you want, you can use big chunks too, honestly. If you want a more heartier type thing. But yeah, what did, you, did you say how much that was out of a pound? This was about a pound. What we actually had were some chicken the other day, and um, there were some big breasts. So I just took one of them and uh, cut it all up and had it all prepared, uh, ready to go to make this dish. So I'm going to add a little bit of um, the onion in. You could also use, um, we have done in the past for the chicken, you could use uh, pre-cooked rotisserie chicken right. from the store and just you know peel off the meat from it I I have tried it in the past where I just put everything together into the oven and to me it was a little bland mm -hmm. so that's when I started to make sure that at least I cooked um, fried up my chicken to give it uh, some more flavor 
Yeah, you don't want to. I wouldn't put raw chicken in it. So yeah, so you're using about a whole onion? Yeah, it's on a small side. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna just give this a turn and then add some more. Yeah, the chicken's browning here, I wanna season it. My mom's gonna put some salt and pepper. Not too much salt, because we're gonna add it, uh, the cream of chicken. So that's gonna add extra uh, salt and stuff. But yeah, this is just a basic pot pie recipe. I mean, you can add all different kinds of vegetables. And things. Yeah, you can add broccoli to it. Um, you know, whatever you whatever you choose. Uh, some people don't like the the full mixed vegetables. You can do carrot, just yeah. carrots and potatoes. Right, peas and carrots or whatever. Yep. One. Now she's going to season it with some salt and some pepper. Some black pepper. And yeah, you were just going to cook this till it's brown. Also, one thing I want to mention is get your oven preheated too. We're doing about 375. Because really what you want the cooking time is to get this almost to come to a boil in the oven right. and cook your um, biscuits on top right. or your dumplings, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. So what we're going to do is try, you can see the juice from the, the chicken. We're going to try to get most of that to evaporate and for the chicken to brown because that's where you're going to get your, your nice flavor. Okay, what we're going to do is to make our dumplings or biscuits for the top, <clears throat> and I use Bisquick. Um, you could use just regular flour and add some uh, uh, baking uh, powder into it as your leveling agent. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to make two um, recipes for it, yeah, two, uh, batches. two batches. So it's going to be a cup of Bisquick. Now one thing uh, I like to mention here is if for some reason you maybe you don't have uh, you know flour or whatever and you don't feel like making your own biscuits by all means use you can use, use uh, biscuits, biscuits like from, from the, the store yeah. like grands yeah. or just regular biscuits right. and put them on top. Right, but we're we're going for the for the whole nine yards, so we're gonna we're gonna do it the proper way, I guess. Yeah, so now I'm just mixing this around to get some of the those lumps out, mm -hmm. and then it calls for two thirds of a cup of milk or water you can use. Yeah, I might as well use milk. Using it all at once. Yeah. Let's see how it comes. So one thing you want to do, I mean, you don't really need a greased baking pan or whatever, but make sure you have a. This will probably feed how many? Uh, you think four, or five, six people maybe? Uh, about six, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're continually mixing it. You want to not use all the milk right away because. Uh, the, yeah, and and you really kind of have to judge because this is the way that we want it. Yeah. Um. So if I put all the milk, it would be too um, liquidy. Right. Because the thing about it is you can always do a little less. You can't take it out. So. I mean, you could add a little more bitch quick, but... Okay, so we're just going to set this aside. Right, now we're just waiting on our chicken. So as you can see, most of our uh, liquid has um, evaporated out. Right. And this is now the chicken that will start to get brown. Just got to keep an eye on your chicken now until it browns. And I'm keeping an eye on the potatoes. Because I just want the pork tender, and they're not there yet. Mm -hmm. And, and then the vegetables, uh, vegetables are almost done. As well. Almost done. Okay, so as you can see, look how nice and no, we'll brown the chicken bits got. 
and we're just this is this is a great dish right. you know you could even uh, get all everything ready ahead of time and then when you come home uh, just throw everything in the together and throw it in the oven yeah I wonder how a, a slow cooker would work making some, making some chicken pot pie that I don't know that'd be pretty neat so yeah we strained uh, the vegetables the vegetables and we're throwing them in there and everything. And it's pretty much just a plop everything together kind of deal. As you can see, you get all the chicken, all the lovely vegetables. Vegetables, I keep saying vegetables. I'm thinking of the octonauts. It's my niece. Yeah, now we're going to chuck in those potatoes. Now, at this point, I don't maybe. Know, you was anybody counting when I did the potatoes? That was pro There were probably. Uh, four, I think. Right. Four medium to small right. potatoes. But one thing I was just thinking about, would you want to season these uh, things like at all? You think like maybe season a little bit more salt and pepper here or not? Uh, no, I might put a little bit more pepper, but I'm not going to put more salt. All right, now we're going to take our cream of chicken soup. Yeah. Now, you know, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it into a pan here. And I'm gonna mix my water with it so it will incorporate into the mixture much easier. So usually it's about a cup of water. You can add a little bit more if you want it a little bit more soupy. You know what I have also seen people do is they have taken um, the potato soup mix. Yeah, that's why I do. And may make that potato soup mix and then add it to right. your. Um, yeah, that definitely makes it um, more um, creamy. Creamy, and it's a lot thicker, like the liquid versus this. It's kind of like uh, more thin and and it's not as thick. The uh, other one, the other one's uh, pretty pretty thick. Cause that's why I do. I use a potato soup mix, and I use a little less potatoes, more veggies, and the chicken. So yeah, you just want to thin this out. You, you, if you got this type of pan, you don't or an air or in a bowl, right, you right, could right. even warm it up a little bit if you wanted yeah. to. Because as this gets hot, it's going to actually thicken up a little bit more in the oven. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're just pouring this in. And mixing it all up again. Yeah, because you also have to remember that when you're making this, you actually want a little more liquid on the in the in the container or in the pot pie. Just do the fact that the biscuits are gonna soak up a nice deal of liquid too. So not too much, but not too little. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it, you know, you get a big you either get a big soupy mess or not enough liquid and stuff starts sticking to everything. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our biscuit um, mix. mix. And I'm taking a nice big spoonful. Right. And just plopping it on. Now, some people like it to be covered the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Could. That's kind of like a shepherd's pie. Right. Where they put the mashed potatoes on top and they cover the whole thing. But yeah, we like it more like a biscuit style, so we like to put it biscuits. Plus it also gets the air up, you know, uh, let, lets the liquid you know, cook on top. Now one thing you might want to do, uh, if you're really uh, fancy fancy, is you might want to get like a little uh, butter, melted butter, maybe put it on top of the, uh, the biscuits. Yeah, when they're almost cooked. Yeah, you don't want to do it right away. No. 
But yeah, this is going to go into three. So usually what I try to do is to have at least one biscuit for everybody who's eating. Right, right, right. Mm. So you could make extra uh, mix if you, if you wanted to, as I mentioned before. Right. And this is going to go into a 375 degree oven for about, what, like a half hour maybe? At least a half hour, maybe 45 minutes until your um, biscuits are, are nice and golden brown. Okay, so here we are. Look at this wonderful pot pie we have here. Ooh. Yeah, this looks lovely. I just took it out. It was still bubbling. Yeah. So let's... Uh, We're going to plate it up. Well, let's plate it up. Look at, the, look at all the deliciousness coming out of there. Look at all that. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Delicious vegetables and chicken and potatoes just looks lovely. Look at this. Mmm. Yum. So, let us try some. Alright, so here's our chicken pot pie. As you can see. With our biscuit. It looks lovely. There's yeah. the big pan. See? Yeah, you, you gotta keep holding it, Ma. So let's take some chicken, some lima beans. We're gonna take this first, and then I'm gonna try the biscuit. Well, you can, if you could see it, I, I can't see it on the camera, but the steam is popping up over it. Mmm, that's good. Plenty of flavorful. Again, you can add more seasonings if you want, but this is just so good. Ooh, hot. But the biscuit's nice and light and fluffy, so it's perfect for a nice cold day like like today or heck any time you want when you need to throw yeah. something together. So I've been Pete or Kenshin nineteen thirteen along with me. Mom. And this has been another cooking with Kenshin nineteen thirteen. Enjoy and happy eating.